Guys, today I am in Canton. I am over off of Portage at the Home Depot. And I wanted to come over here because I'm very curious as to what they have as far as Halloween stuff and animatronics. We've already checked out the uh, the Spirit Halloweens and seen a lot of their animatronics. And I know that uh, like Home Depot and Lowe's and uh, I don't know, a handful of other places always get a bunch of Halloween stuff in. And I love to go around to these places and uh, just see what all they have. So come along with me and let's check these things out. All right, guys, yeah, here it is right up here, and I see some awesome stuff already. Oh, my God. Holy crap, guys. It is the Beetlejuice Sandworm. Hold on, let me get a better picture of this. Look at this thing. That is amazing. Look, the tail up in the mouth is twisting. <laughs> that is hilarious. $179. I bet that thing's 12 feet tall. Let me go see if I can find it in a box. Looks like these are all their inflatables right here. I do not see the sandworm. However, I do see an awesome headless horseman. Look at this thing. I love the headless horseman. That is sweet, eight feet tall. And look, we got the towering werewolf. <laughs> Skeleton arch. Coffin carriage. The animated Wicked Witch Cauldron. Here's some more witches, and what the heck is that thing? A Skeleton Knight. Lead Sorcerer. Uh, we have Pumpkin Reaper. Ghoul. What is this? Day of the Dead Skull. 24 inch, so that's only a two foot thing. More witches and the typical stuff there. Oh look, I didn't even realize all this stuff is set up right behind me here. There's the coffin carriage up there. Kind of hard to get a good shot of it. Personally, I like the inflatable things better. They collapse down and I'm sure these fold up somehow, but that looks like it might be kind of a pain in the butt to put together. But look at this enormous thing here, this macabre witch. <laughs> it looks like it's got lead eyes. The mouth moves, but I don't know that it's... Okay, animated. Why is nothing plugged in in these places, man? Okay, we got the towering werewolf here. <laughs> that thing is pretty creepy. Look, it's, it's like a hunchback. All right, try me. All right, here he goes. I guess that's all he does. I mean, which is still all right, but... I wonder if you can turn these things up. A lot of these animated things are not very loud. All right, what do we got here? We got the Towering Jack-O-Man. Jack-O-Man, seriously, that's what it's called. Towering Jack-O-Man. He's holding pumpkins in a bag. All right, here's a... And of course he's doing nothing. Try again. Nothing. Okay, what is this one? Sorcerer. These places need to step it up, man. This one looks pretty cool, actually. Let's see if he works. I am coming to find you. I am the death warrior. Yeah. Okay, that was actually pretty boring. <laughs> Try me. I'm ready for war. I will be victorious. He needs to do a lot more than that. Wait a minute, here's a... I see oh, okay. Cloud in your future. I mean, that's okay. I like him better than the, the other one. This is a scary place. Protect yourself. Not very action-packed. Here's the witch. Let's go around the other side here. Hold on. 
I don't see a try me button on the pumpkin guy here. Let's see about uh I don't see one on this witch either. It's kind of disappointing because I'd like to see it move. Oh wait a minute, here's a here's a button. Okay. I like that crow sound at the end. All right, here's our headless horseman, guys. He needs to be... I don't want to break something here. Hold on. All right, so the pumpkin here is actually supposed to be up on his arm like this. Where he's holding it up like he's getting ready to throw it. And I'm assuming it lights up. But it's like falling off the arm. I tried to get it up there myself, and I just couldn't. Here's a button. Oh, the horse head moves. Not lighting up. I mean, it's a cool looking prop, but I'm really disappointed that half this stuff is just kind of thrown together here. Get it together, Home Depot. Here's a lone boot. I assume that belongs to this guy. All right, what do we got here? The witches, wicked witch, wicked cauldron witches. Okay. I mean, it's kind of cool, but you can't hear a word they're saying. I don't have any idea how to turn them up either. That's the longest uh, animation so far. And it actually looks pretty cool. I like it. All right, wait a minute. We got skeleton pirates here. Let's see if this one does anything. Okay, the, uh, look, the speaker's in the back. So it projects the sound out of the back. That's why you can barely hear them. He's got a bottle of booze. This one doesn't work, apparently. But look at the, um, the pirate ship up here. This pirate is driving the ship. That's actually pretty cool. I, I actually love pirate stuff. Oh, you can buy it. 329 bucks. Nine and a half foot animated lead pirate ship. That's pretty cool. As you guys know, I'm a giant Goonies fan. One-eyed Willie! <laughs> Look at that, he's got the patch on. Tattoos on this arm are all Goonies. That's sloth. Copper bones, Go whole Goonies sleeve. I'm not going to show you right now, though. Maybe I will. There's me. <laughs> That's my kids. And there's One-Eyed Willie. I love it. Okay, let's continue on here. See what else we have. We got some headstones here. Here's some big ones. 36 inch. That's not too bad. Those are cool. We got the typical. Oh wait, here we go. Here's the Beetlejuice sandworm. How tall is he? Uh, all right, let's see. Nine and a half foot. He's huge. Here's a couple more. I can't believe I didn't see these. Here's the little Jack Skellington here. <laughs> Enormous skull. Oh, this is a fogging skull. Dang, that's heavy. So he shoots the fog out these little things here. That's kind of cool. There's some other uh, inflatables and stuff up there. Oh, wait, we almost missed one here. Rocking chair witch. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I think that may be my favorite one. 
because it actually works and it moves more than anything else. Let's do that again. Did you hear the cat screech? I like that, that's pretty awesome. Okay, let's move on here. The typical little things here. And then there's a giant inflatable ghost. Oh, that's the pumpkin reaper beside him. Hold on, let me get a better shot of that. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see him because the ghost is falling over. But that's the, the pumpkin reaper over there. We got some little inflatables here. Those are kind of cute. I actually like that classic kind of Halloween stuff. You know, where it's not like gory and, you know, witch. Like little kids party stuff. I like that stuff. Okay, these are animated dog bones, uh, like a wolf. Skeleton Greyhound, yeah. Okay, I'm surprised none of them are barking, but watch this if this works. The sound on that one kind of sucks, but they, uh, some of them like howl, and it scares the crap out of you. Life-size skeletons. I don't get the neon skeletons. Why are there different colors of skeletons? Unless people want, like, a, uh, specific colored theme. Oh, I see. Eyes light up. Okay. We got these pumpkins. Oh, look, sugar skull. That's kind of cool. That's heavy. I love that sandworm. That's probably one of my favorite inflatables I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, bag of skulls here. Hey, chainsaw. We got these hanging scaries. Witches. And of course we have stuff to carve pumpkins and decorate them. Paw Patrol. I got a whole drawer full of stuff at home like that. Spider webs, candy. What is this, Hidden Screamer? <laughs> I wonder if that's, yeah, light activated. So you can set that somewhere in like the bathroom when somebody comes in, they turn on a light and that's what you hear. That would scare the crap out of somebody. <laughs> I think that's everything that they have. Oh wait, wait one more thing here. Living projection. Wait a minute, they got more Beetlejuice stuff. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. What the heck is it? It's another sandworm, but it's got a tombstone, it looks like. And you... Some kind of a light show, projector set. Maybe you project a movie on there. Or maybe it has slides. Displays action scenes within the shape of the globe. Five scenes, four transitions with motion and sound. So that must be what it is. Okay, this comes with these five things. There's a projector, and you project it up onto that, which is kind of like the screen. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it's worth 200 bucks, but... There's a few other things here. Oh, look, a pup. Hello, little pup. <laughs> all right, I guess that's it, guys. I don't see anything else. I think we covered it all. So, that's it for Halloween inside the uh, the Home Depot here. Kind of curious to see what other places have. Maybe Lowe's. I'm curious to see if Kmart actually has any Halloween stuff. Because um, I live near Barberton. And I'm about an hour from Brunswick. So... I kind of want to go see those. A lot of people are filming these Kmarts now, but, you know, we all have our own take on these things, and we present them differently, so. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.